Oh man, Oilers, listen. I have just one question on my mind. What happened? Oilers, man, what happened? I thought this was a different team that we were facing today. Not the team back in November that was 31st. And before I hear McDavid this, McDavid that in the comment section down below, listen, do I look like I care? 0-4 you guys went against us, and today we didn't even have our starting Vezina goaltender, so I don't want to hear any sort of excuses from you guys. This was a fantastic win from the boys. Every single player on the Vancouver Canucks dialed in and played their part, because they knew that heading into this one, if they got the victory, they would likely win the Pacific, and that's exactly what it looks like they're going to do. And I could not be happier about it, man. And listen, I understand I was being a bit of a jackass at the start of the video. I have respect for Oilers fans and for the Oilers team. They're a strong team, but boy, oh boy, do I love to beat them. Anyways, man, y'all know the drill. Let's jump straight into the first period to discuss what went down in the hockey game. The one thing that I will say is that the first period early penalties have to stop from us, alright? This game could have got off to a really bad start for the Canucks because JT Miller took a penalty here and then the Canucks are under siege on this penalty kill. Luckily though, DeSmith was looking like prime Dominic Hasek and he absolutely stoned the Oilers, but regardless, it's definitely not the right way to start off a hockey game. Anyways, after that, the Canucks start to have some pressure here, some good chances, but Stuart Skinner had the answer to all of them. And then the Oilers with a really good pushback, but I have some news for you. Casey DeBeast is in goal for us today, and he knew that his back was against the wall. With Silovs playing well, he was determined to prove to everyone that he is the man, and that's exactly what he did. Beautiful stuff from my man, KC. Anyways, later on, it's Bluger here with a good forecheck, plays it out to Mikheyev, and man, I don't know how Mikheyev cannot score anything. Like, it's actually crazy the amount of chances he gets compared to what he converts. He gets chances, but man, those hands are just made of stone. But whatever. Anyways, later on in the first period, it is my favorite bald man in the universe. He rushes up the wing here and fires it by Stuart Skinner, gives the boys a 1-0 lead to end off the first period, and I could not be happier about it. Moving on forward to the second period of play, and another early penalty, this time taken by Tyler Myers. The Canucks are on the kill. Not the best way to start off the period, but Casey DeSmith has our backs. The score stays 1-0, and then Tyler Myers must have heard me because he comes up on a rush here and absolutely redeems himself plays the puck out in front, and then Pew Suter is there to redirect it home by Stuart Skinner, and he improves the Canucks lead to 2-0 now. And now look at this right here. Susie with a great check there on a Vander Kane, and then this is all I hear after that. I'm gonna be honest, man. I don't know why Kane is so upset about this. Obviously, he doesn't want to look bad, but this wasn't even a dirty check, so... I don't know, but clearly this lit a fire up under Evander Kane as he gets a goal later on in the period to cut the Canucks lead down 2-1. to one. And now we move on to the third period of play. This was a pretty tense third period. There was a lot on the line for both teams. I mean, the Oilers had some chances, but DeSmith was looking good. And then the Canucks have this chance right here. Besser picks up the puck off of a Miller feed. And then Suter gets the puck here on a rebound and just slides it by the crease. I thought this was it, but the score stays 2-1. It was a very close call, though. The tension was heating up, and you could tell that the next goal was going to be big. Late in the third period, Stuart Skinner sees that the Canucks pick up the puck, so he goes to the bench? Okay, and the Canucks move in, and Dakota Joshua bags in a freebie, and the Canucks take it 3-1. to one. And listen, to all the people in the comments that don't know how to take a joke, I understand that Skinner didn't actually see that the Canucks picked up the puck, but it is funny to look at it that way, because he literally went to the bench right as the Canucks picked it up, and then they moved in and scored straight away, so I'll take it, man. A goal is a goal, and the Canucks now put themselves two more points above the Oilers. They have two games to go. The Edmonton Oilers have three. I want to clarify by saying the only way that the Edmonton Oilers can now pass the Vancouver Canucks in the standings is if the Canucks lose in regulation against both the Flames and the Jets, and the Oilers win all three of their next games. 
because even if these two teams are tied, the Canucks will take it because of the tiebreaker of regulation wins, which is a very nice luxury to have. But man, what can I say? This was the biggest game of the season for the Vancouver Canucks, and they absolutely dialed it in. And I'm proud of him for that. McDavid or not, a win is a win. And before you start saying, oh, so now we're comparing Demko to McDavid, chill out, man. Demko was our MVP last year. He's one of the best goalies in the league. And I'm not saying that McDavid and Demko are equals. Obviously, McDavid has more value, so I'll give you that for sure. But injuries are part of the game, so if your players aren't going to be fit to play, then it sucks to suck. But hey, that's the way it goes, man. The Canucks take it. We're in a real good spot here with two games left to go in the season. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're new. And yeah, man, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and take care.